Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue our adventure with Clive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. <sighs> I'll not have it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help from branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged. My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil to win. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Best mate ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. Let's talk to Sid, see if he's got any extra dialogue. It's downstairs. Try not to get lost. 
Also, just to be clear, I do have pre-order items like the uh, Kate Sith charm that will increase my gill uh, by 25%. And I also have the uh, Braveheart sword. I'm not going to uh, use any of that kind of stuff just because it's my first playthrough. I don't want to cheapen the experience and stuff like that. I just uh, forgot to claim it earlier. Towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Oh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Did he? Oh, okay, he must have gave it to me. Wasn't sure if that was a pop-up or not. Let's talk to this blacksmith. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. Iron belts. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. <sighs> a word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Um, good to know. I suppose I should thank Goots. I see I'm busy here. Well, I ain't the cook, am I? Look. You got anything needs repairing? Okay, so he repairs stuff and uh, obviously crafts weapons and stuff for us. What do you want? Oh, we can reinforce some stuff. Don't have a broadsword though.
Oh, we need a little more of that, uh, Y right. Anything else? The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make them comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't need out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> what the hell have I got myself into? <sighs> oh. Are we safe? What's all the commotion? Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <sighs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Was Tyre the one looking after Jill? Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? <sighs> I did say so. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. So many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state. It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. I mean, I, I really didn't do much besides... Um go get somebody okay we can hold up to three side quests at a time hmm 
Who are these people? Do you think we should go and help? When he's not out chasing rumors, Sid's up there in that hole of his, brooding it. Just a jukebox there. Don't think I haven't noticed you stealing sips from that pot. Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful, they're hot. Hot oh, meal. How long has it been? Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. You're new, aren't you? Kenneth's running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew, and a mighty fine one at that. But no. Lonely, are we, August? Good guy, Sid, huh? I heard they escaped their masters in the Imperial Capital. <sighs> That's all. <sighs> Damn it. We'll be needing more wood. But if I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. I couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. Takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It certainly looks like you've got your hands full. Ah, uh, you can say that again. The Fallen knew their craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the White Ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Thanks again. I really appreciate the help. Didn't realize that we were going to do a quest over here. I was just trying to... S 
serve the next patron. Oh, that's two. That's one. We'll get wood in just a moment. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but... See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. That's the last one. I'd better let Kenneth know. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but... men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now, I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Awesome. We got some Y right. Oh, cool. We just got a And yeah, we'll put that on. And then we will start this side quest. Or, well, not start it. Finish it up. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. Here we are. I better get this to Jeffrey, was it? Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to. That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Got another meteorite too. Kill bug. Oh, can be traded. Okay. Let's go over here and uh, see what's 
see what it's up with the thousand tomes. I think that's our lore uh, place. Is it? No, it's not here. It's over here. In the fat chocobo. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like. Young had so many uses. Yours is not a familiar face. Are you new to the hideaway, perchance? You could say that. Well then, allow me to welcome you. I am Harpocrates the Second Hyperboreus. That's, uh... <laughs> Quite a mouthful, I know. Which is why everyone here has taken to calling me simply Tomes. On account of the uh, company I keep. And what varied company? I'm a collector, you see. Not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination to me. But alas, my days of wandering the realm in search of new tales are far behind me. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all who might listen. Perhaps you would care to listen. When I was very young, Again, if you want to read all this, uh, just pause the video. Yet, when I arrived... Fortunately... I don't believe you've read this particular chapter before. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. What subject shall we consider today? Just going through all this stuff. And then we looked at that, I think this stuff earlier, the Deadlands and Sid's Hideaway. Oh, wow, there is a lot of this stuff. Okay, well, maybe I'm not going to do all this, because this is quite a bit. I will do this all on my own time. <laughs> Bestiary, Mysteries of the Realm. Did you learn everything you needed? See if we can't craft that broadsword. Make it quick. Sorry, would it be? Not bad, if I do say so myself. Damn. Gonna have to get more of that. Yeah, let's upgrade it. Why you not? You can thank me later. We'll upgrade this as well. Not my best work, but it'll do. Anything else? We'll equip the broadsword.
Oh, wow. Hold on. I'm confused. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm like, why does it say the same? Oh, good lord. Although Braveheart is pretty strong to start out with. Fancy a mug of Kenneth Cole. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Oh my god, I could have bought the broadsword. <laughs> well, I could always buy the iron bracers. You'll not find a better price than that. Might as well buy one It'd more. It'd better I'll be here. Potion. Sell that. I'm thankful you got that much. You got out else? Well, I reckon I can find a buyer. You can sell this too. You got out else? That's all. Why, you've barely a guilty name. You taking his side now? And after all I've done for you. All right. All right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me. Thank your dog. Oh, cool. We can train here. Oh, uh, we have to, I guess. How do we get it out? Awesome. 
It's over. Stay down. Just checking out some of the combos real quick. Yeah, magical burst. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's end training. You all done? Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. Okay, I think before we go any further, this is where we're going to end the video for the day. Um, yeah, we'll end the video right here. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. Or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.